All right, so I'm out here with my son Michael, and we're just uh, we're shooting some bows. We have some um, <coughs> palm branch bows that are super awesome. So we figured we'd stop, film it, and kind of give you guys a little, uh, just a little primer on how we did this. Um, so this is a palm branch, and I'm stringing this up with a little bit of paracord. In case some of you don't know what a palm branch is, this is basically it right here. All right. Um, super fast bow to make, a lot of fun. Easy enough for a kid to shoot, but quick enough for a small game. Um, the best part is that they're free. What I have found is that the shorter the bow, the better. Uh, about three feet is about what you want. I've tried them at four feet and longer, and they look really cool, but there's they're just there's a little too much flex to them. So I, I generally go about three feet or so, about here. Um, just need a hand axe and to chop it. use a machete. All right, now the top of your bow is going to be for your string knot. Um, what, what I like to use is this post. I just carve out a post. See that real, so it's just a post here and it's a post here. That actually shows it much better. All right, just a regular pocket knife you'll see. On this end I've already got it started. Just make your post. I mean, you can see how fast, like for a survival bow, if you happen to be in an area where you find stuff like this. There's my post on that side, done. It's not real pretty. Um, you've got to get your tiller. You'll see one side is fatter than the other, so I'm just going to carve this down. All right. You'll also notice you've got a nice rounded spot. You might think that would be a good back to your bow, but that's actually a better belly. The way that it flexes, that's a, this is a stout bow right here. So I'm just going to take this top ridge off all the way down on this side and on this side. All right, you want to get the back of that bow kind of flat. You're still going to have a little ridge in it. And then obviously I'm going to have to start shaping it. You can see it already. This is a strong bow. This side is going to have to come down a little bit more. It's best if you start with them green or just a little bit green at least. All right, and once you get it down, I'm just doing a rough quick shape for you. Realistically, you're talking about 10 to 15 minutes. Really, 15 minutes you should have a really good bow. And that's pretty strong. You can see that getting strung up. That would be a tight bow right there. Let's try it with this homemade arrow. 